Hi, Mr. Goff here from mrgoff.com. Welcome back to our second in the series on the financial sector and the role of financial institutions. You may recall that last time we looked at the role of the Bank of England and of insurance companies. This time we'll be looking at the role of commercial banks and building societies. Commercial banks accept deposits from their customers who may be individuals or businesses and generally pay a rate of interest slightly less than the current bank rate. They also have a role in keeping people's money safe. Imagine if everyone had to keep their money at home, how much more incentive there would be for robberies of people's homes. Commercial banks also make payments on behalf of their customers. They do this by allowing their customers to use checks, credit and debit cards, make phone payments and organise direct debits. This has become increasingly important as more and more transactions are carried out digitally and less and less people are using cash. Commercial banks also provide loans to individuals and firms. For this, they charge a higher rate than the current bank rate. They also provide overdrafts to account holders. An overdraft is an organised service where you're able to withdraw more money than you have in your bank account, normally for an appropriate fee. Another service commercial banks provide is safe deposit boxes. These can be used for storing very expensive items such as jewellery or important legal documents. Some commercial banks also have an investment banking arm, but recent changes have made them have to be more at arm's length. Investment banks play a special role in providing assistance with things like mergers, foreign trade and underwriting share issues. Underwriting a share issue means that the bank promises to buy any unsold shares so the firm can guarantee that they will get a certain amount of money. Building societies are not actually companies at all. They are mutual institutions. This means they're owned by the people who deposit money with them and they're run for their benefit. They specialise in providing savings products and for providing mortgages to their members. Well, that's about everything covered for the financial sector and the institutions that make it up. Be sure to join me again for another video looking at evaluating the importance of the financial sector for consumers, producers and the government. Until the next time, I've been Mr Goff from mrgoff.com. See you later.